as you start your year 2018, don't be surprised if we are dropping some F words today because today is the first, as in first episode wherein we're going to feature in our show entrepreneurs, innovators, change makers who live their dreams and make things happen. And just like them, you too can achieve your dreams as long as you're loving what you do. A journey of thousand miles begins at one single step and we can prove that to you by sharing with you amazing and inspiring stories about rags to riches, failures to success, business and happiness, one step at a time. Together, we can turn your passion into action by guiding you to the right direction. I'm your host, Diane Medina, and we're not just dropping some F-words today, but also we're going to feature different stories that are founded and bonded by both family and business relationships. On this episode... We like being together. So, like... I look forward to coming to work because I see my sisters and my dad. If they see someone or maybe a loved one who suddenly collapses and goes into a cardiac arrest, they can do something. Theirs is a love that transcended from just romantic partners to eventual business partners. As lovers in business, they both said I do in putting up a corner that serves pasta and pastries. But beyond the variety of foodie is their advocacy to promote our very own Filipino cafe. Tayo na sa Antipolo at bisitahin natin ang bawat sulok ng Sulok Cafe. Sulok is a word na which everyone knows. It's Tagalog for corner. Parang lahat naman tayo may kanya-kanya sulok, di ba? May peace sa bahay, sa work, sa school. Like, it's an attitude of us to have one confined space na tinatawag natin, sulok natin. Because it manifests that kind of attitude that people have to have one corner na sanay tayo puntahan. Hindi naman namin expect na magiging successful agad ang isang negosyo. Sa isang negosyo na tulad na ito, mga 2-3 years talaga bago mo mabawi ng kapitan. Slowly getting to know na nagiging sikat na siya sa Antipolo. We decided on putting up a coffee shop because this is what the location dictated. And the reason why food industry in general is because of the accessibility of the business. The food industry is relatively simpler in terms of how you can operationalize it. Kasi it is the most accessible. Parang kahit sino pwede magbenta ng pagkain eh. It's normal naman na mag-aaway talaga kayo eh, as a couple. Pero at least sa side namin, it's important kasi to delegate the tasks. Ano yung kay Andy, ano yung sa akin. And that's what we do. It's also important na business partners kami, pag-araw, pag gabi naman, we go out or pag may free time or holidays na we operate yung shops, we make sure na we find time to have dates pa rin dahil sobrang pagod na kami. Siguro kung may baon man kami, coming from a romantic type na relationship, it's gonna be yung respeto sa isa't isa. And, um, and that's basically, you bring that kind of attitude even when you guys are become business partners na. Parang, the, we respect each other not because we're just a couple but because we are business owners and we are business partners na. So, nag-evolve nag lang, kumbaga nag-transcend lang yung relationship. Nag-evolve siya into something, into a completely different realm of relationships na. Nagsama kami para sa isang negosyo. Ang cool na gumagawa ka ng kape, sobrang angas ng dating eh. Everyone has that kind of uh, level of enthusiasm when it comes to the 
more scientific and complicated side of coffee and maybe I guess one of the deepest whys namin of putting up this place is for us to learn how it works and ang kasarap kasi ng kape ng Pilipinas sobrang sarap mas masarap pa kaysa sa mga Colombian, Kenyan bakit tayo Pinoy mismo mas gusto natin yung mga beans coffee beans ng ibang coffee shop na imported pa kaysa sa sarili natin kape na to be honest eh mas masarap talaga one thing is to grow appreciation over Filipino made coffee wala pa tayo nakikita talaga sa market na as in pag sinabi mo yung word na ng isang coffee shop is Filipino ang sulok kasi very Filipino yung word na so yun yung sana ma-reach namin someday Why plan when you can move? Planning is just you and the table, do it, thinking, writing, but why can't you move? In short, uh, act now if you want to do something uh, extravagant in your life. Because life is short, they say. I am Rodrigo Ang Escobar. I am Andy Wong. We are the owners of Sulu Cafe and we love what we do. Breaking into the world of skincare is a tall task. Dominated by foreign brands, locals have to dig deep in their bag of tricks to make an impression. In the Seesaw Sisters case, it was the personal experience and social media fascination that gave them the public's attention. Actually, it sparked from my own skincare problem. I had a really bad and worst breakout in my entire life. And in search of the solution of my skin, I found a skin potion. Actually, I tried everything in the market, name it, and I have tried it. I'm really hard to find it. That's why I searched for my own on what to use. And fortunately, I found the one, which is the honey oatmeal soap. I found out that that soap is very effective for me. And by then, I thought, why didn't I share it with other people? helping Jonalyn just do that is her own sister, Eileen. We actually uh, work together for it. So online, we bought it. And then it became okay. We had some resellers then with us to help us um, sell the products. Eventually, it became okay on Instagram and Facebook. And we decided to uh, join bazaars then. Most bazaars that we joined are Trend Center's Bazaar, Manila Sundance Bazaar. We were okay in the bazaars. And then suddenly, we approached kami ng SM Management. So from online, from online business, we um, kami to um, actually selling them in the market now. First product namin, na we launched namin before, way back 2013, yung oatmeal soap. This was the, the first product that we launched. Namin. And this is for pimples, actually. And it really works. And then right after this, Um, nagkaroon kami ng mga lotions, whitening lotions, creams, tapos meron din kami ng mga, um, mga toners and whitening oils. Then, dumami na siya from one variant, two variants, 60 to 100 plus variants. So, ang mga best sellers namin today, meron kami snowberry cream, which is sleeping cream mask for night, magic balm, tomato serum, and then we got into cosmetics na din. Best-seller namin yung mga lipstick namin, yung mga matte lipis, and yung mga eyeshadow palette, and glow balm highlighter, and many more pa. We have given awards from Q Asia Magazine Awards for Best Natural Products. That's way back 2015. Another one is Golden Globe Annual Awards. Uh, to, this 2017 nan siya, and we have awarded the most um, innovative skincare and cosmetics provider. And uh, the, the other one is International Management Excellence Awards for the best skincare products. But despite Skin Potions' numerous awards, Jonalyn revealed that it's quite a challenge keeping up with the millennial market. Millennials are really fickly minded. 
So, sila yung mga kind of market na gusto lagi may bago. As a challenge for us, nag-raise kami actually ng level namin through innovative process. So, lagi kami may bago. Kasi si sila millennials, lagi gusto nila may bago, something new, something na kaparehas ni international skincare. That's why, from ano, from time to time, meron kami mga bagong products. So actually, we had a lot of inquiries. That's why we opened the franchising. Uh, in the bazaars, madami nagtatanong, um, Pwede ba kami mag-franchise? Magkana ba franchise nyo? That's why, that's the reason why we opened the franchising. Para din makatulong din kami sa kanila. For those who are starting their own business, parang don't be scared kasi you can try everything. Huwag kayong matakot na talagang kung ano yung passion nyo, it will lead you to success. If you follow your passion, go lang, parang magtatry ka lang kung what if mag-fail. So you will never know unless you try. You should know your passion. Because uh, if you're not passion oriented and you don't know what passion would you want to pursue, nothing will happen. Wala talaga mga yan. Kailangan alam mo kung ano gusto mong gawin and make sure to work hard for it. There you have it. With a handful of hard work and a little pinch of passion, these two social savvy millennials found the perfect blend for the sweet potion called success. I am Jonalit. I'm Eileen. We are the owners of Skin Potions, and we love what we do. Our moms rely much on the appliances at home to do and make things easy and breezy. And why not? This is their way of cutting time on doing household chores in order to spend more quality time with the family. And as their way of paying tribute to our hard-working moms, Whirlpool Appliances also spent quality time with some ilaw ng tahanan with all the fun, food, freebies, and more freebies. Whirlpool has always been about family. At alam naman natin na ang mga nanay ang tinuturing na haligi ng ating mga tahanan. I am a mom myself, kaya alam ko how difficult a job it can be. Kaya naman, kami sa Whirlpool, we've decided to keep holding this event. We've actually been doing this for six straight years in a row already in partnership with Anson and Cash and Carry Mall. Ginagawa namin ito to honor all Whirlpool moms out there. Kasi naniniwala kami na dapat mabigyan silang at least an afternoon na pwede silang makapag-pamper, merong good food, may fitness, tapos meron ding mga fun games na pwede nilang gawin with their families para makapag-bonding sila together. Hindi din lang sa uh, event na to, kundi pati sa aming mga produkto. Kaya nga mamimigay kami ngayong hapon ng mga appliances. Kasi kami sa Whirlpool, ang gusto namin, ma magkaroon ng chance ang mga families to have more quality time with their families. Para nga naman, imbis na trabaho lang na trabaho, naglilinis ng bahay, ganyan. It is our hope that our products will be able to give comfort and convenience um, in their homes para there is more quality time with their families. like to share some good news because for seven straight years in a row, Whirlpool has been awarded as the most trusted brand in the Philippines and we remain to be the number one appliance brand in the world. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you. Um, kung hindi po dahil sa inyo at sa inyong pagkitiwala sa Whirlpool at sa aming mga produkto, wala po kami dito. Thank you very much for making Whirlpool the number one appliance brand in the world. This portion was brought to you by Marco Polo. Experience new heights. Let's talk heart to heart. We usually get serious when we talk about matters of the heart, right? Now, let's make this matter more serious because it concerns the heart that literally pumps blood. Take a tip or two as we all get fit and fab with the Doctors of the Heart. Philippine 
Heart Association is basically an organization composed of mostly cardiologists no, in the Philippines of different subspecialties. One of our purposes is really to improve the quality of service, cardiovascular service that we give to our patients, make it affordable at the same time, and maintain a very high quality of service that is not far off from what they can get from the other countries. Well, we always have a Philippine Heart Association annual convention. The main purpose of which is, you know, you cannot stop learning. Medicine is a continuous learning process and you need to be updated. You will be shortchanging your patient in terms of services if you do not aim to improve yourself as a doctor. So it is always a learning process. And the convention like this helps our doctors to be more updated with regard to new developments, uh, new concepts that are arising when it comes to the care of the Filipino cardiac patient. The most important thing here is provide quality care for the Filipino patients and we really want to reach out and uh, be able to lessen the burden of cardiovascular diseases. We have our 50 to 100 project which advocates a healthier lifestyle and the 50 to 100 stands for five servings of fruits and vegetables per day two hours of idle time or two hours of screen time, meaning you should only have two hours of iPad time or, or gadget time or TV time, and then one hour of moderate intensity exercise every day. Zero for sugary drinks, meaning no soft drinks, iced teas, um, juices, really just more of water, and then zero smoking. So that is part of our wellness campaign in order to improve the condition of, of the Filipino patient. And then of course, we have the other advocacy, which is our, the CPR, um, which has just been recently uh, put into law, and we call it the Samboy Lim Bill. And this primarily aims to teach our young students, no, the K-12 students, to learn how to do the CPR the hands-only CPR, so that if they see someone or maybe a loved one who suddenly collapses and goes into a cardiac arrest, they can do something. It's also our chapter's night during the fellowship night, so after tonight, some people will be going back to work tomorrow, some maybe in a day or so. Some may be taking the weekend off, but the thing is, we just want to have some fun after a very grueling uh, four-day convention. From pieces of trash to loads of cash, from doing a pastime to making it big time, who would have thought that a mother's simple hobby would turn into a long-time business for the whole family? This is a story about scraps that turn into a well-known novelty shop. This is the story of Papel Milroti. Welcome to Papel Milroti. I'm Patsy and this is my sister Peggy and my niece Elise. Hello. So we're going to show you some of our favorite things in the shop. So... This... This was made by Peggy. We love Bible verses. Where's, where's so yours? So these are our um, notebooks, our signature line of craft notebooks that are 100% recycled paper. This is Elisa's design, and this is my 2018 planner design. You know, Papa Melody has been there almost all my life, ever since I was 11 years old. My mom wanted a business, so she prayed for a business. She used to make things out of scrap cloth, and then she would sell it. And so we got a space in Tomas Morato. Uh, there was a store in the first floor, and we lived on the second floor. And then we started this 
a store named Corben, which was named after my parents' names, Corit and Benny. So growing up, we were saying that we should also have our own. So we're five, Patsy, Peggy, Meldy, Robert, and Tina. So we just formed it, it was like a joke. So it became Papa Mel Roti. But in 1976, we opened the first Papa Mel Roti in Alimol. It was a very small store on the second floor. And we were the ones, we were the sales girls. And the amazing thing is, after how many years, we're the only store that survived in Ali Mall. Every other store, they're not there anymore. We're the only ones left. The thing about having a shop like this is you're always, you know, thinking about new things, always uh, excited about what you can do. There's not a dull moment because my family, we like being together. So like, I look forward to coming to work because I see my sisters and my dad. My mom passed away. Uh, she was the one who really, you know, made sure that we have good relationships. I, I remember when I was college and um, a friend of mine said, oh, I'll never be able to work with my family. We'll just be quarreling and quarreling. But with us, it's very, very, very seldom. We like to talk to each other. As a matter of fact, sometimes we're having dinner and then it's already about the business, like new products. We get excited about that. So we'll say, oh, we can charge this dinner already. So we enjoy uh, being with family. This is my son's design, Joshua. He also designs for us. And then my brother, he designs Filipiniana. So we've been in business since 1967. It's 50 years already. I'm not really a businesswoman. Like my mom, my mom was an architect. Like, she's not really a businesswoman. She didn't even have capital to start the business, so it started very slow. And so I can say I'm the same as my mom. It says, don't be afraid, just believe. My mom, you know, even if she didn't have any capital, uh, she started this business, and uh, this is her legacy to us. Like our business, I think it's also successful, not only because we always have new things and everything, but it's because it's really when you do what God wants you to do. And I really believe that this is what God wants me to do. Because actually, there are times when our sales will go down. So that means that God is telling us something. We need to change things, we need to experiment maybe. Or So there's always something that God is teaching, whatever it is, like even when our sales are high, diba? Uh, when your sales are high, you have to think, oh, what? why is God giving us these, these good sales? Maybe we're supposed to help. We have to get more suppliers who are, are in need of livelihood. No? So we help a lot of uh, people with our livelihood projects. So in helping others naman, in return, we also gain from that. That's part of um, success, when you're able to help people you give back to society because like the people have helped us to be where we are so we want to give back also I'm Patsy Paterno of Papa Melody and I'm loving what I do we love what we do when people think that family and business don't mix together think again Papa Melody defied this belief the impressive 50 years of being in the business industry is a clear indication that running a business can still be a family affair and maintaining a relationship that is stronger than ever. Why? Simply because they're loving what they do. So please do follow our Facebook page and Instagram page, LWYD, Loving What You Do. And please do follow my Facebook page and Instagram page at Diane underscore Medina. Once again, I am Diane Medina and I'm loving what I do. Next week on Loving What You Do.